hello everyone and welcome to the messed up uh, in this video i'm gonna render the fire which we had so before i render the fire if you look at the image you will find a surface below which is uh, smooth at some places and uh, rough at some places so it will provide a better reflections and uh, it will provide a, a quick floor look for better view so let's make our surface first i am gonna hit the performance mode so we can work further fast so go to the edit add geometry and go to the plane just quickly i'm gonna scale it quickly so first make it snap to the ground and just okay it's fine any length is appreciable So I am gonna edit this plane. So for the plane I have choose the material to be stone. Uh, uh, yes there is a stone. Granite marble solid. Yes black marble I pick it up. And uh, I am gonna apply it to the plane. Then what I do I just go to the edit material material node i'm just gonna mesh with the with only one property that is roughness so i'm gonna delete all of these i'm going to this i'm gonna apply this texture for the roughness and add a utility node which is uh, color to number apply it to roughness so let's uh, reduce the size here so you can see when I change the width here it gets reduced actually this much is this is fine actually so let's hit C to get back out of it and we have the surface here so let's move into the dark mode so we can visualize better okay so we, you can see a smooth amount of uh, light and everything here so it get, gives a quite realistic view let's edit our flames here so till now let's find our flames our flames are this is our flame which will be visible here so let's apply a material so the material which i used for the flame is infrared actually keyshot doesn't have any particular material which is dedicated to render fire but i found a way to actually approximate the uh, visual reality of the fire it's not actually like uh, realistic but it does the job that you want to do so we have already applied the infrared material so in this I take the help of this particular let me show you what is does I have you I've used this guy uh, we downloaded this texture from Google so it worked actually so what I did I have just applied it to two places the first one is the color and the second one was the you can see it already looks good the second one was actually the intensity now what I'm going to do is let me change the place here Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay, let's change few properties here. Let's reduce the size around like 17 or something like that. And next thing is uh, I'm gonna change the brightness. 
Okay, I want it to be like closer here. It's gonna hide this so that I can see it better. So contrast value has to be somewhat higher. Like Let's bring our box back. Okay, this one was the box. Now the next thing is I picked up a normal map for the pump. And let's play our animation. So the coal drops in, waits, ignites fire and uh, let's wait just. There's a fire. It's coming out. It takes a lot of computing power. So it is working perfectly. So now you can see the fire is coming out of the chimneys and we are getting some very cool reflections here on the surface. So it's kind of same to the my render and uh, you can actually mesh with this tune outline like uh, decrease its transparency and apply the light source shadows here so that if there is a light source it will be visible. So let's just zoom in and look at it, the logo. You can see it is looking perfect. So infrared is what you can use if you want to visualize the fire. It is not actually much realistic, but you can approximate the view. So that's it for the mini series and see you in the next videos.